Answer for one unit 5C test review problem 8. Solve the same equation by graphing. We know of two strategies to solve by graphing. One is to build a table of values. The second is to use the handy dandy calculator. In the case of building a table of values, we can choose some convenient values of x and do a little arithmetic. So let's say x is equal to negative 2. If x equals negative 2, then we have x squared is 4 times 6 is 24 plus 10 is 34 minus 1, y would equal 33. If x equals minus 1, x squared would be 1 times 6 is 6, plus 5 is 11, minus 1 is 10. What if x equals 0? That one's easy. If x equals 0, y equals negative 1. If x equals 1, 6 times 1 is 6, minus 5 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. What if x equals positive 2? 2 squared is 4 times 6 is 24, 24 minus 10 is 14, minus 1 is 13. That gives us enough points to graph. Negative 1, positive 10, 0, negative 1, 1, 0, 2, 13. It's a little tedious and it's a little tiny graph, so that makes it harder to do. But clearly, I can do it that way. The other thing I could do, of course, is put my equation into the calculator if I have a calculator handy 6x squared minus 5x minus 1 and I can graph it I can go to my table of values and double check my data. I can also trace my graph to see where my parabola crosses the x-axis. But the most important thing is I've already solved this problem twice. Certainly my solutions are all going to agree. So x equals negative one-sixth x equals 1. And if I had gotten different results for 6, 7, and 8, obviously I would have made a mistake somewhere and would have to check again. But this time, we're good.